Hello, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today we're back with another tutorial and I'm going to be teaching you how to protect your server against a bot attack using a couple of different plugins. So let's get straight into it. So before we continue with this tutorial, I'd like to point out that this is aimed at servers that are running in offline or cracked mode. You can use these plugins if you want to on a premium server, however most premium servers don't experience bot attacks, but if you are, feel free to continue with this tutorial. So we're going to be using three plugins, anti-bot protection, anti-bot attack and auth me reloaded. So we'll need to go ahead and install these on our server. So before we do that, we do need to make sure that we are running Spigot on our server as these plugins are made for Spigot. Once you are, go back to each plugin and click download. The anti-bot plugin will take you to this extra website where you can click the download button here to download and it should download a zip. So just save that and download it to your computer. Next, we need to download anti-bot attack. So download that, click save. We also need to download protocol lib, so download that, click save, and then auth me reloaded as well, and click save again. Now there will be links to all of these plugins down in the description down below, and I'll provide a direct link to this page for this plugin in the description below also. So once you've downloaded each of the files for the anti-bot plugin, go to your control panel, then go to the file manager, go to the plugins folder, click upload file, choose files, and then go through each one of these plugins and click upload from computer. Once you've uploaded the antibot.zip, you'll need to highlight that by clicking the white area and then click unzip and that should reveal a .jar for that plugin. And you can then delete the license.txt and the .zip. Then once you've uploaded all of the files and you have four files that are similarly named to this, click restart and then give your server a few moments to start up. So once you've restarted your server and given it a few moments to start up, click the refresh button and you should see a bunch of folders appear for each plugin. So right off the bat, you don't actually really need to do any configuration. You could just start playing on your server and it should be relatively protected from most bot attacks. So now if you were to log into your server because we have AuthMe installed, you will be required to register and log into the server each time you join. So let me just do a quick demonstration of that. So as you can see, I've just joined my server and it's prompting me to register once I've joined. So I would need to type register. So let's just type a password such as this. And now that means because my server is cracked, if another person tried to join with my username, they would have to know my password to be able to log into my account. And again, this just helps prevent bots from going onto your server and spamming the chat as well. So one of the useful features from one of the plugins is slash chat. So if I do that command, it disables the chat. So if you're having a bot attack or there's some sort of spam going on in your chat, you can actually disable it. So no further messages will be displayed to players on the server. So again, to enable that, you just type slash chat and it enables or disables it depending on what it's set to. So another command available with the anti-bot attack plugin is slash ABBA on and this enables the protection manually. So if you feel like you're about to have an attack or something's going on where you want to enable the protection, you can just type slash ABBA on or you can type slash ABBA off to disable it. So that's basically all the commands available for the plugins that you're really going to be using in game. Again, these aren't very command heavy plugins, they're more configuration side. So let's take a very quick look at the configuration files for each of these plugins. So if you go back to the file manager for your Minecraft server, and then let's open the first anti-bot folder. So in here, there's a config.yml file, so let's take a look at that. And here you're able to change a couple of settings for this plugin. So the first set of settings, we're not really going to take a look at. We'll take a look at these chat blacklist ones. So you can block certain things from being set in the chat. You can change these to be whatever you want. Um, it's not that advanced of a chat control plugin, um, but you can use it if you want to. So go ahead and update those if you want to change them or feel free to add any more. And then at the bottom, you've got a set of messages which you can change. Feel free to change these to whatever you like. It's a really basic configuration. Um, and once you've made any changes, click save. And then let's go back to the plugins folder and take a look at the anti-bot attack folder and then configs.yml. In here, you've got some further settings to change for the other plugin. So the first setting in this plugin is max logins. So this basically means how many logins per how much seconds. So these first two um, settings work hand in hand. So if you set this to 10, it means you can have 10 logins every one second. If you change it to two, you would have 10 logins every two seconds. 
So if you change this one to 20, that means you'd be able to have 20 logins for every one second before the protection kicks in. So feel free to configure this however you want. If you don't have a very popular server that only has maybe one or two people logging in per second, you may want to set this to two. Um, but again, just leave it at 10 if you want to or change it to reflect whatever um, setting you would like. The next setting is anti-bot time. So this basically is how long the anti-bot protection is enabled for when it's enabled automatically. Um, so by default, it's at 60 seconds. If you only wanted to change it to 30, you could do that or 120 or whatever amount of time you'd like. So the next set of messages you can change. So if you're unable to log in, that's the message that will be displayed. If the MOT protection is enabled, it changes the MOTD. So you can um, change that if you want to. To whatever message you want to or you don't have to change you can leave it as default and um, i'm just going to leave it as default as i like the message and um, the next setting is protection so whether you want the protection to actually be enabled or not and um, so i want it to be enabled obviously um, and whether it changes the motd and um, so if you didn't want it to change the motd you just set it to false and then that would set it to false and then the rest of the settings we're not going to really touch um, as i don't recommend changing them so that's basically all the settings you need to change for this plugin and then click save once you've made any changes Go back to the plugins folder and we'll take a look at AuthMe. So if you open that, and in here there's a lot more configuration files as this plugin is quite a bit more advanced. Um, but we're just going to take a quick look at the config.yml file. So inside of this configuration, I like to change a couple of settings to prevent bots from affecting the server. You can go through this entire configuration yourself if you want. It's all commented nicely so it tells you what each setting does. Um, but as I mentioned, I'm just going to be looking at three um, settings specifically for this tutorial. So the first one is max reg pair IP. So if you just search for that, so I'm just using quick search. If you're on a Mac, it's command F. If you're on a Windows, it's control F and it should bring up this search function. Um, so I'm just going to be looking at this setting, which is max reg pair IP. So basically what this means is if you've got one person at a house, they usually have one IP address. So that means only one person can register from that IP address. So say if they've got a brother and they want to register from that IP as well, and they won't be able to if say you can't register, there's already an account there. So you may want to change this to um, two, three, four, maybe even five. Um, usually I just like setting it to around two or three though. Um, but you generally don't want to set it to unlimited because that means if you've got a bot attack and they're all coming from the same server, so they have the same IP address, um, they won't all be able to register. So just by setting it to one or two is usually a good amount. The next setting I'm going to look at is max login pair IP. So this basically sets how many logins can happen from the same IP address. So again, I set this a similar amount to the max reg pair IP setting. So I usually set it to about two or three. Um, so I'm just going to set it to two. And then again, I'm just going to set the same setting for max join pair IP. So if you set these three settings to similar values to what I've set them to, it helps protect your server against bot attacks again. Um, so once you've made the changes, click save and then go back to the plugins folder. And then once you've made all the changes to each and every plugin, restart your server and it should apply the changes. So that's it. By following all these steps, you should be able to protect your server against bot attacks. It may not fully protect your server against bot attacks, but it should reduce the chance of them happening. If you run into any problems during this tutorial or after you've set this up, please contact our support and they'll be more than happy to help you. Otherwise, feel free to comment down below with any suggestions you'd like to see for future tutorials and I hope that you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.